Okay, I think we can start. Uh, can everyone hear me? At the back, it's good? Okay. Um, thank you very much for being here. Um, my name is Mathieu Weyenberg and I work here for um, one year and a half uh, as business analyst at Odoo. Uh, I know that's the last day of the experience. I hope you really re enjoyed your two first day. Um, today I will present you an important topic and very interesting. It's how to create an awesome website with Odoo. During my presentation, I will go to different steps. The first one is, of course, a little introduction. Why do companies have nowadays um, a website? Why do they use it? How they built it? Um, what are the advantages? Second so thing that I will do, I will a little bit introduce uh, why uh, do they now do in Odoo? And what are the advantages? And what are the benefits for that? And of course, I will do a little demonstration and we will create a website together. Okay. Why is it so important to have an excellent website today? First of all, uh, this is the first point of contact. This is the first contact that you have with your customers. Uh, if you need information about an activity, about the business, about an industry, or about something, what you will do, it's of course you go to Google or to Yahoo or whatever. When you will write this on, on Google, um, some statistics, some results will appear. Uh, that's why it's also very interesting to have a very good SEO, a good optimization um, that will uh, lead you to the first uh, result of the page. A good referencing can also influence your statistics, your sales, and, also, and of course, uh, can attract many, many customers. Of course, the, your customers don't know uh, about your activity, but when you will be on the first page, in the first line of Google, or whatever search engine, uh, they will click on your website. Mm -hmm. An important information uh, that, uh, that I just read yesterday, it's like more than 92% of all the internet searches worldwide are performed on Google. That's why having a good optimization, a good SEO on Google is very, very important. It's critical. Um, I think you all know it. A website is available 24 hours on 24, and it's, I, it's available everywhere, at any time, in any... Uh, zone of the world. Uh, that's why it's important to have a good e-commerce. When you create a website, it has to be attractive uh, with colors, with images. Uh, you have to, all the text that you wrote has to be um, without any fault. The grammar is also very important. Um, the content has to change all the time because uh, if the content doesn't change, you will have a, a lower position in the ranking when Google will perform uh, its crown. It's also uh, one of the easiest and best way to explain all your business. Of course, uh, if you have a beautiful website, if it's attractive, if you have a good referencing, people will go to your website, visitors will click on your link, and they will buy your products. And for me, another thing that I, that I think is like um, with the e-commerce and all the, uh, with the internet, there is a new source of customer. I, for me, there is two new source, of new source of customer. The first one is, of course, where you, when you are, for example, you are based in China, it's a better in Belgium, and all the people that uh, are away from Belgium now they can buy your product. They can also have information through the internet, through the e-commerce. Before those people were not in your country, and it was really impossible for them to buy your product. The second one, it's uh, the e-commerce. That's a new sales channel. Of course, as I just said earlier, the people that they cannot know your company, they don't know what you do. No, they have the possibility to to buy your product, and you can reach them easily. Now, very important, what are the advantages to do it uh, with Odoo? The first thing is, of course, there are new features every year. Each year, uh, we have a new version, we have new improvement, the, uh, we keep improving the content and we keep improving the, the website application. Of course, we will go through all the new features uh, in, the, in the demonstration, uh, but that's the main point. We have also many different teams. Uh, there are 24 teams um, in Odoo, actually. Every year, we get a new one, and then it lets you the opportunity and the option to customize your website as you want. And last but not least, it's also fully integrated with all the other applications as events, as recruitment, as inventory, as sales, as invoicing. We have many, many different uh, applications that can be integrated with the website. Now let's imagine that you don't work with Odoo. Um, you don't have the license of Odoo. And now, if you want to create one website, you have to use several applications or several software. It's a bit messy because you will lose a lot of time. You will do a lot of re repetitive tasks, uh, and the errors can can come uh, easier. Now, but we have the solution: is to do it with Odoo. 
we should do, okay, I just took uh, the, main, uh, the main application as the website one. All those applications are from of the of, of, of Odoo. The first one is the blog. You can create blogs, you can, you can, write, them, you can write your blog from the back end and also from the uh, front end. We have also the recruitment application. If you are looking for new colleagues, if you want to post your job application online, it's very easy. You can cr directly create them uh, from Odoo. We have here the e-learning platform. Uh, that's a new feature in V13 that uh, my colleague Benjamin uh, explained you yesterday. Um, you can publish all your course um, directly uh, from the backend of Odoo and also from the website. We have the inventory application that is also linked. Uh, why it's very important for, for us to, to have that? For example, you have a lot of products and you, you have the, the, um, the choice or to display the quantities available uh, on the website or not. You have also the event. You can, be, you, you can also organize, organize events. You can sell your tickets through the internet. And we have also sales and invoicing that a little bit gather all those different things because when you will buy product after you will have an invoice, either, either is, that's also a sales and the same for events. Let's now uh, do a website. Okay, here there's a the home page is totally blank. Okay. I chose the team by default, that's the default team. Here on the left side, uh, you have all the different uh, blocks that you can use. Let's start with the cover. Okay. Here, I don't know if you noticed, but in V12, in V uh, you d this bar here, this column didn't exist. Before it was like a little square here, uh, very tiny, and you had several lines, and it was very difficult to just distinguish which was the line of what were they used for. Here, you have everything on the left, it's clearer. Here, for example, you have a background image, you have a filter. I want to set this image like in white without any filter. I also want to change my background image. What I do, I go here, and I choose one background image. Let's say that, I'm, that I sell uh, football jerseys and bicycles. Okay, we'll take this one. Okay, that's it. You don't have to take care about what I'm writing here. It's just to show you that we can write something, we can put in colors, we can put in bold, and so on, okay? Here I will put a welcome every body. Okay. If I want to change the color of this, it's very easy. I go here and I put in red, pink, whatever. I can also change the size up and I can put in bold, right? Here the same, I can write the text. Voilà. Okay. Um, now we're gonna create a new one. A uh, new text block, uh, text with an image. Okay. Here we change the background. I'll take this one, okay? And I will take a picture here. Okay. Here you see that I can upload an image. I will do it. Mm, I'll take this one. Here, that's new also. Um, this one is a little big. Uh, big. Uh, I can directly change the size and the name of the of the image now. Before, I could not do it. Right? We can do it, but it was very painful. Now I can just say, okay, I will take this one, but uh, little, more little. And this the name here has also a big impact on the optimization on the SEO um, platform. I can change the name. I will not change it, but okay, I can I can change it, optimize. Okay, here it's a very little, but I can put it bigger, or smaller, and so on. And here I can also write uh, something. Okay, in here, that's text. Okay. Now, a new thing that I just uh, wanted to, sh to share with you also, it's before 
uh, last year in version 12, um, if you wanted to, to, to search images or to go uh, to navigate between images, you had like several pages. It was a little bit painful because you all, all the time had to click for, to, for going to the next page. Now that's better. With a new button, it's like load more. Like this, you can have more images. That's a new feature. Then uh, there is also a new feature that we have that's a link and show. What does this feature? It's on the same page. You can be redirected other in, other in another, in another um, place on the page. For example, here, I have all the different um, social media that I use. And I want to say, OK, when I click here, I want to be redirected uh, uh, on, the, on, the, on the bottom of the page. What I will do, I will do that. Where do you want to go? You want to go here, link and show, and it's follow us. OK. Save. After I come back here, and I do that, hashtag, and I click on follow us. Save. OK, just wanted to show you. OK, and I click here. I'm directly redirected here. Now, a new thing that I will do it, I will create two uh, new images with uh, two call to action buttons. OK. I want to have two columns. I click here, the number of columns, two. OK. As I sell bicycle, I will, take, I will pick a picture of a bicycle. and from football jerseys. OK? Here, what I will do, and I will create two new buttons, the call to action, which means that when I will click on it, I will be directly redirected to the page that I wanted to, to go. Here and here. I want to click here, I want to be redirected to the shop of my bicycle. OK? What I do, I will take an, uh, my website, and I will go to the shop. It's not refreshed now. OK. And here, you see that's my, that's my eShop. I want to go to all my bikes. Then I will only pick the URL. OK. I click here. And here, it's simply as that, copy paste. OK, and the same for this. <coughs> you can also change the size of the button, uh, big one, the style, uh, bam, and I will put it in this color. <coughs> OK. Like this, I will show you. What does it does? OK. OK, I have to change the name of the button. And it's here. And it's properly working. Um, we, can, we have also new features. Um, we, have, we can have all the font of Google. What do I mean by font? Uh, by, I don't have internet here, but I've all, it's already open here. We can change the font of the text. How do you do that? You go here, and Teams, Font. And here you can change all the different fonts for the title, body, navbar, and the button. And here I will go to Add a Google Font. After, I, I will go, I click here. I'm directly redirected to Google Font of Google. I copy and paste the link, this one. And I paste it. Mm. 
OK, now you see that uh, that has changed. I can find it back here. And that's a new one. Uh, also, a new features. Um, before, when you had a logo that is uh, in your backend, you had only the possibility to have the same on the website. Now we have the possibility to have two different logos. Maybe it can happen, and you can directly change your logos from here, uh, from the website. What do you have to do? And you can also change the, the size. Before, it was very painful. You had to go in the code and to change uh, manually. You double click here, and here you can change you can change your logo. I will take another one. Pick this one. Okay. And I it changed directly. If you want to put your logo bigger or smaller, uh, you can directly do it too. You go to customize, customize, and you go to navbar. And here you have the possibility to change the, the size of your logo. I will put that A new feature also um, regarding the translation. Of course, with Odoo, you can translate any terms uh, that you have on your website. The default uh, language is English. And you want to do it, uh, I don't know, in, you, want to, you have to have another language. And we're going to add the, the language. I don't know, the, something that I understand. Uh, uh, Dutch, no, not Danish. This one, okay. <coughs> it's loading. Huh? Here you see that it's in Dutch because you have NL uh, underscore BE. Of course, you can change it. That's the new features that you can directly change it from, uh, from the version 13. How do you do that? You go here on the back end, go to go settings, translation, languages. And directly here, you see that all the languages that are active in my DB. And here, I can change. And I will set uh, Dutch. OK, come back. Okay. And you see the real address change. OK, we'll send it. If you want to translate some terms, you go to uh, translate. And directly, Odoo will tell you what has to be translated or not. OK. Everything that is in yellow, uh, you have to translate. Everything that is in uh, green, it's already translated. Here you see that you have to translate almost everything. Uh, tech, tech, tech. I will put it back in. Oops. In English, okay. Um, for do since last year, uh, we have also the possibility to create a multi website from uh, only one database. Uh, I will just explain you how to do it. I will not do. I will not build two websites, but we have the possibility. Go to website. You go to configuration. You go to settings. And here you see that uh, you have the tech, tech, tech. Here have the multi-website application, uh, the features. Then you activate it, and you can directly from here create several websites. Here, for example, you see uh, that my website is my website, and I have created another one. Of course, those two websites has to have uh, two different URL uh, and two different domain name. Okay. Now let's go to the to the shop. Uh, let's go to the e-commerce uh, platform. 
I will just I will just give you a quick introduction about the, the product and how you can you create a product uh, and publish it on the website. You can go through sales application or you can go to inventory. You go to sales, for example, to find all your products. Go to products here. And here, for example, I will take um, the t-shirt one. Here, the name of my of my product is T-shirt, but of course, um, I, I I I created some variants. For example, I have a black T-shirt in different size, and those variant as a, as different price. Here, I said, okay, this T-shirt is orange, and the size is L, and so on. Of course, for each variant, you can put um, you can publish a picture, and you can also publish no video. Okay. I will show you. Then you go here to e-commerce. You decide on which uh, website this product will be displayed, which categories. Here you have two categories: of the clothes categories and after t-shirt. That's the that's the, um, the little category of the clothes. And here you say, okay, I want to show the inventory um, on my website and prevent sales if not enough stock. Okay, that means that when people will go to you, to this product and you will not have enough stock to sell it, uh, you, you will not be able to, to buy this product. And of course, I can also put an accessory product uh, that you will be able to buy uh, at the end of the sales process. Here, that's new. You can also add uh, some videos, you, you know. I will show you here. Then I go to my website. Here, I have this product. I have some different colors. The image changed. And also the product, uh, the price also vary. Here you see that I cannot buy because I don't have uh, any stock of this product. It prevents me to buy. I will take one here. The black T-shirt. I have still nine units available. If you click here, I don't have internet connection, but if you click here, normally there is a automatically a video which is displayed, uh, and you have to take this video from YouTube. Okay, I will buy this one. And directly, you have the suggested accessories which is um, proposed. You can add to cart. That's also new in V13. Before, uh, when you wanted to buy an accessory product, the, uh, the quantity here you could not change. For example, if I wanted to, to buy last version one T-shirt, I was obliged to only, bo only buy one ball. Here, I can buy as many balls as I want. Okay, I, pr I process the checkout. Here, that's all my information, my the, the delivery information and the invoice information, the billing address and the shipping address. You can also adapt it at any time. Okay. I confirm. Here, my payment method is wire transfer. Okay. I didn't configure all the um, configuration for the bank account and so on, but here you will have all the information that you have to fill in order to proceed to the payment. Here you see that the, the customer will have this information, that's the, that's the sum up of his uh, order. Then me in the back end, I can also find this, this order where I go. I go to my sales application and I will see the quotation. Sales. And here you can find the uh, number 39, here, and so on. And here you have all the information, the invoice address, the delivery, the delivery address of your client, of your customer. Okay. A new very important feature here is the new mega menu. Uh, what is a mega menu? Uh, that's a new menu in the, in the menu bar that you will have uh, different menus inside, that th which means that you can click on it to be redirected to the page what you want to be to go. Then what I will do, I will create a new mega menu with all the different categories of my articles. Here you, sorry, you go to cast to page, edit pages, add mega menu, yeah, mega menu item, uh, all products. 
here. I will put it here. Okay. Now a piece here appears here. I don't want to have four columns, I want to have two. I click on it and I have two different options. The first one is only columns without any image, but I want to have some one images. Okay. I, I remove this one. Okay. Here I can what whatever I want. Okay, and here I will add um, bikes. And here I can change the image. I will put, uh, I will take this one, for example. Okay. We can also change the background. Okay, it doesn't matter of the color, but you can also do it. Of course, here, as we did before for the call to action and so on, you can directly be redirected to the page what you, when you want to go. For example, I will take one example. Um, I want to go to the all my bags. Here, I pick the URL here, and I click here, and I do it here. The same for the other ones. Now I save. Okay, all my products. I click off bikes, and I'm directly redirected here. We have also two new snippet, uh, snippet. that's two new blocks that, m that may be very interesting for uh, your customers. Um, we have the suggested product. Now we have the, tech, 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 the new product search bar, which means that at any moment, you can search, we can search a product in at any page. I'll do it for you. In here, if you want to search bike, you just write your name bike and you can find it directly okay there is another option too um, those are the two most new blocks that we <coughs> that we developed this year this is the pro product recent recently viewed okay is here I will put it here Then your client will go through the web page and here, and he will see directly all the product that he, recen that he recently viewed. And when you click on it, it will be di directly redirected uh, to, the, to the page of this product. But this kind of option can increase your sales. Uh, a, a new feature also this year, uh, we got the tracking of all the visitors. What I mean with that, you go to websites, here and we have a new uh, menu here that's the visitors and the views here on the views you can see all the different pages that are, has been visited by by all the people you can also group by pages you said okay uh, 22 this page has, has been viewed 22 22 times this one seven times seven and so on okay and here the visitors you can group your visitors uh, by country with the group by. Like this, you can see, okay, this page, uh, this country is very present. Maybe I have to do like a commercial promotion uh, um, targeted for this country. You can also uh, group by uh, pages. You can see, okay, this page is, is all the time uh, viewed, is all the time uh, consulted. This is very important for all the statistics and all uh, resume. You can also export all the data um, with Excel. Uh, now I'm going to talk to you about the different integration uh, that we have. You have your website. Um, we have a very important integration with the recruitment app. Then you have uh, all the different positions that are open here, and you can directly publish them on your website. Uh, I go here. You see that it's published, but I just wanted to you. Here you create your position from where and so on, and you go. You go from here and you say go to website. That's the application. And here you see 
that you have all your different jobs uh, which, are, which are online and then uh, it's all automati automatically redirected to your, um, to your backend. If someone has, has applied for your position, you will receive his CV, you will receive all the, of all the information. The second one, uh, it's of course the event. You have also here you have an event tab. Um, I will create an event here. Introduction to mountain bike. Okay. Here, it's only you create it. After you tell, okay, you just say, okay, from where, from which date to, to the other date. You can also put like a minimum attendees, and you can also here uh, write and create some different tickets. You can have gold tickets, silver tickets, or for different prices. You can also set different prices and different dates for the, for, the, um, for the tickets. Here it's not published on my website. I will go to website and I will publish this event. Which means that when I go here to event, I have all the next event, the today, this week, and so on, and I can directly go here, I click on it. You can, the same as before, when you want to add pictures, videos, and so on, you go to the edit button and you can use this all the same blocks as before. Here, the introduction has been, has been uh, clearly written, uh, and you go to register. And here you can buy directly your tickets from the, from the website. I will take two. Continue registration. And as the same sale process at the end, you confirm. Okay. And you will see that in your sales application you will receive a new quotation. And here you see that um, these people, Mitchell Admin, uh, has bought two different tickets. Tech, tech, tech. As well, just to end up with this, um, that we have also the e-learning course. Uh, you can also you can create your QEs, you can create your different course and so on in the back end and also publish them uh, in the website. Go to the website. That's, I know that's not the topic of today, but I just wanted to, to tell you that everything is possible uh, with Odoo regarding the e-learning and the integration with the website. Then you go to website, and here it's automatically set. You go to course, and you will have all the lists of the course and the quiz and so on that you, that you did it um, in your backend. Um, then I will come back to my slide. Present the um, demonstration is over. Uh, I want just I just wanted to to a little recap of the new features of the ver of the version 13. Um, of course, the main feature for me uh, is the mega menu image, uh, mega menu plus image. Uh, you can you can use it for different ways. Uh, in my example, I just use it for the for the e-shop for the e-commerce. It's an it's attractive and it's very user friendly for the for the last uh, for the visitor. The new left panel uh, before when, when you wanted to edit an image when you wanted to edit somewhere in the page you had to go you had a, a very little uh, square um, in order to change it. Here it's. It's better. We have the link and shore uh, to redirect your customer to the um, to the place where you where you want to that he goes. We have the visitor trackings. Uh, when here you can go by countries, go by page, by by moments, by continents, and so on. You have your improve your image. Very important for the optimization. Um, you can directly change the size. Before it was very painful to change the size. Um, and last but not least, you have the different Google fonts um, that, no, that are now available on your website. As I told you, uh, you have also many other things. You have the product search um, snipped, snippet, you have also the product recently viewed, and you, have, you can also have uh, more than one logo <coughs> on your website, one on your website and the other one uh, in your backend, in your documents. 
Uh, if you have some question about this talk and about those new features or about the website and so on, um, you can go see uh, Sebastian Bull. Uh, he's now at the demo boot station, or you can uh, just go here and see me after this talk. Thank you very much for your, for your attendance.